actually once set an NAIA record for consecutive scoreless innings, 54 scoreless innings, and consecutive victories. He won 26 consecutive decisions when he was at Cumberland. He was part of the national championship team in 2010. He was not drafted out of college. He was not signed. He had to start his career playing independent league baseball before he finally got noticed by a major league team that signed him to a contract and started him an affiliated minor league ball. He's worked his way to the majors. And his first pitch to Ryan Vallade is a swing and a foul to the right side and out of play. Now Aaron Wilkerson trying to work his way back to the major leagues with the Dodgers. As he bids for history here in Albuquerque on this Tuesday afternoon. Righty on righty matchup. Here comes the 0 1. That is a little outside for a ball. Here's the count at 1 and 1. Wilkerson turned 32 years old yesterday, born May 24th, 1989, in Fort Worth, Texas. Went to Midway High in Waco. The 1 1 is low and outside. Two balls and one strike. Made his major league debut for the Brewers in 2017. Here's the 2-1. Line drive, base hit center field. There will not be a no-hitter today in Albuquerque. Ryan Vallade ensures it with a clean single right back up the middle. And the Topes have their first hit of this game. Well, a heck of an effort by Aaron Wilkerson. Six no-hit innings. That's hard to do anywhere, especially in this ballpark, in this elevation. Nothing cheap about it. A clean single up the middle. Wilkerson was kind of reaching back for it. Catcher Hamlet Marte out to the mound. Maybe just a reminder, this is what the signs are when there's somebody on base. Or maybe just a little reset for Wilkerson. This game's still yours. A little tap to the chest. And the catcher Marte as he heads back behind the dish. Here's Nick Longy, a walk and a strikeout. Righty on righty. First pitch. That is inside for a ball. Wilkerson gets the sign for Marte. Sets at the letters, and the 1-0. A swing and a miss on a high fastball. Seen it a lot today where Wilkerson, again, it's not like he throws 99, but he has located his fastball in really good spots. And because he's been able to throw his off-speed stuff, he's thrown off the timing of Isotope's hitters. The 1-1, and there's a called strike on the outside corner. Longy disagrees. The crowd definitely disagrees. It's one and two. Well, the seventh inning has been the big inning for the Isotopes the last two days. We'll see if that continues again today. The one two pitch. Hit in the air to right field. Souza comes in a couple of steps, then maybe one more. Makes the catch. One out here in the bottom of the seventh. Go back to the game on Sunday. That's when Albuquerque was trailing 10-1. The Isotopes scored six runs in the seventh inning to start their comeback, which they completed later, 11-10 the final. Yesterday, Topes came to bat, bottom of the seventh inning. Their 3-0 lead was down to 3-2, and they scored six runs again to break it open. And they score six runs again today or at least some to cut into this 10-0 deficit. First pitch bounced in front of the plate. Nice job by Marte to uh, backhand that ball. Now the pitching coach for the Dodgers, Jamie Wright out to the mound for a visit. The first time there's activity in the Oklahoma City bullpen. 
Jamie Wright, a former Colorado Rocky, first round pick back in 1993 out of Westmore High School in Oklahoma City. Wright pitched parts of 19 seasons in the major leagues. Rockies, Brewers, Royals, Rockies again, Giants, Rangers, Royals, Indians, Mariners, Dodgers, Rays, Dodgers again for Jamie Wright. 19 years in the major leagues. Over 2,000 innings pitched. Now, most of the time, Wright did not have a guaranteed job in the major leagues when spring training began. Here's the 1 0 to Brasenio. Swing and a foul to the first base side into the crowd. And the count is one and one. Laid a short lead at first. And here's the one one. Brasenio swings and fouls it straight back. Had a big cut. Was looking to turn on that ball and hit it a long ways. Fouled it straight back. It's a ball and two strikes. I feel like Jamie Wright is one of those pitching coaches where no matter where you're at in your career, Jamie Wright can relate. Whether you're a first round pick with, with big expectations, whether you're a guy that's struggling, trying to get back on track, whether you're a starter, a reliever, a long man, he can relate to you. Here's a one-two pitch. Uh, it's a little outside, just missed. If there's somebody who's thinking that you've done enough in your career where you should guarantee a job in the major leagues based on your past success, Wright can say, oh yeah? Let me tell you about my career. Let me tell you about the number of times I had to sign a minor league contract in the winter and earn my way Onto a big league pitching staff, year after year after year. Here's the 2-2. And it's in the dirt, blocked by Marte. Full count. When Jamie Wright made his major league debut, he was 21 years old. When his career ended, he was almost 40 years old. He was 39. in the postseason for the Rays in 2013. Here's the 3-2 pitch. A swing and a miss. Brasenio strikes out on the slider. That's the second out here in the seventh inning, and that's going to be the end of the day for Wilkerson. Well, Aaron Wilkerson went six no-hit innings before giving up his first base hit of the game, gets the next two outs. His teammates are congratulating him on the mound for a job very well done. We got a break in the action of pitching change. Tell you about the new Oklahoma City pitcher when we come back. It's Dodgers 10, Isotopes nothing here on the Albuquerque Isotopes Multimedia Network.